friends my name is kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial in this video tutorial we are going to discuss about the bin inheritance template so in earlier example we have seen how we can work with the spring bin inheritance so this is the project which i had created in previous uh, video tutorial so here i had created two model class employee as well as portion now my employee class is a child bin over here and uh, i want to define employee class as a child bin and person as a parent bin and while looking into the java class you cannot observe you cannot find here parent uh, ch person is a ch uh, parent and ch uh, employee is a child these things you can identify from while looking into the configuration file so here uh, first i have configured person bin and second i have configured employee bin here employee while configuring the employee bin we have specified one attribute as a parent and here i have assigned the id of person means in this case employee is your child bin and parent uh, person is your parent bin now employee can inherit all its property and employee also has the right to override some properties as well so this is the example which we had created in previous example now in this video tutorial we are going to look something is called a spring bean inheritance template so let's go ahead and create a java project with name a spring bean spring bean inheritance click on the next finish now here i'm going to add a spring related jars in my class path so click on the add library user library now click on the user libraries here is the uh, here you need to select a spring library click on the finish okay so a spring binary binaries i have added in my class path now uh, some of the files I would like to copy from my previous example. So this is the entire package I am going to copy and paste in this project. Let me explain what is these two classes. So this is the two classes person and employee. Now uh, what I would like to do in previous example child and parent been both were as a Java class here parent class i would like i don't want to create a class for the parent bin so this bin i'm going to delete and of course configuration file also i'm going to copy from previous example itself and client program also let's copy from previous example now little change in configuration file one day so as we have deleted this class right so you cannot specify class attribute for this bin so this uh, bin we would like to treat as a template so here you need to specify one attribute which is called abstract equal to true so that a spring will not try to inst instantiate this bin now here for meaningful just specify the meaningful id so you may keep the same id but i would like to give the some meaningful like person template and here you need to specify the person template now this is just a template so this template may be referred by the other bins so let me explain what i have done here uh, you can create a bean definition template which can be used by other child bean definitions without putting much effort while defining a bean definition template you should not specify class attribute and you should specify abstract attribute with a value of true The parent bin cannot be instantiated. 
uh, on uh, on its own because it is incomplete and it is also explicitly marked marked as abstract when a definition when definition is abstract like this it is usable only as a pure template win Defini uh, definition that serves as the parent definition for the child definition so this will only serve as a parent parent win for the child so we have done almost all modifications so here you don't record person class so I have deleted now here uh, no ch there is no change in the R client program so let's run this application and see we are uh, we are able to run the client program and we are successfully retrieving the results so I hope you guys understood what is a spring bean inheritance template so that's all I have in this video uh, uh, see you in next video today thank you guys